So, you want to be a paint body man, huh? I will never know why. You like to see pain and struggle and aggravation and strife and heartache and tears and broke hearts and broke wallets and all the garbage that goes along with it. Well, apparently you're a glutton for punishment. so good don't it man straight good coverage too bad it ain't worth a piss This is going to be so much fun. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Probably not. Let me let me try one other thing before I do too much damage. Every bit of this has got to be peeled off. It never did harden. So because it never did harden, you can't sand it off because all it'll do is gum up your paper 
and you can't leave it because as the years go by and it does finally harden up, it will shrink back. And when it shrinks back, then whatever is on top of it is going to start cracking. So because I didn't pay attention to what I was doing and grabbed the wrong hardener, I've got to spend all day scraping this off. Now with any luck, I can save the bodywork under it. I figured a razor blade would be the best way to do this, but I've stay I've mentioned before I stripped a whole car with a razor blade, but that was cured paint. And this not being cured just wants to roll up under the razor blade. So, this seems to work a whole lot better.
Cause we've been told that's the way our world goes round Walking on the grounds we've always known Stepping on the footprints in the snow But when it melts the other ways will show Got the <clears throat> panel completely done and uh, got her DA'd and ready for prime. It didn't do a whole lot of damage at all to the body work, luckily. Um, so, God, if you've learned anything from my ignorance, read the labels. Don't just look at the size of the can. That was the, uh, that was the problem. That's how that whole debacle happened. Uh, just a little backstory, I'll explain how it happened. Um, a month and a half ago or so, I went to get my epoxy primer and uh, hardener. And um, then a little while later, I needed some more hardener, so I went back and uh, they didn't carry the same size can that I had, so I had to buy little pint cans. Well, quick seal, um, sealer hardener also comes in that size can and so I didn't even look I just grabbed the wrong can put it in there and uh, screwed up big time but it all came off uh, I've done a little bit of damage uh, these little dig places in here um, but uh that's not, not too bad. I'm not that worried about it. I'll go back and I might put a little bit of spot putty in there and uh, take care of that. Um, our other door. Uh, around. So we got it. Everything is ready to put our epoxy primer on it. Um, got all the uh, rust neutralizer and converter on it so uh, that's the reason I went ahead and uh, got this door down and didn't and didn't prime this door went ahead and got this one down and went ahead and stripped it that way I'll just prime both of these doors at the same time and uh, it's less material less wasted material less time really and uh, but I think that'll do it for today I appreciate you guys hanging out and um, watching my ignorance and uh, complete lack of of uh, <laughs> complete lack of concentration when I grabbed up the wrong uh, I'll show you real quick so this is quick seal 2k urethane sealer activated right all right and then you have this stuff which is direct metal epoxy primer hardener. All right, the problem was this hardener, when I went to buy it the last time, came in that size can. So, uh, just, it is what it is. Grabbed the wrong can, put it in there, and uh, that's what I ended up with. But uh, remember guys, like, subscribe, um, hit the share button, leave me a comment, and uh, maybe next video we'll be doing some epoxy priming uh yeah yeah i think we'll be ready for that y'all go do some work